menghambat. I done did a lot, a lot. You ain't this shit at all. Whipping up a pop, pop. Show you how to get it off. I don't merely rock, rock. What up, what up? It's the Shy Love Radio Show. Welcome. It's Melanie Monday here on Pop Radio Worldwide. Pop Prince of Pain putting people on iHeartRadio and Spotify. <laughs> I hope your weekend went well. Well, you know this is 2020 and the theme is to do what? Take the mask off. Mask off. So last week, um, we were discussing taking the mask off and getting to know who we are, who we are. Returning to our original selves. Um, healing from what we need to heal from. Uh, addressing whatever issues that we need to address to become who we are ordained to be so that we may be our highest selves. So this week we will be taking um, one of the main points, which was the first one, which is, which is to look in the mirror. Look at that man, look at that woman in the mirror. That's the first step. And I also would like to give a shout out to those who missed it last week to uh, Cultural Connections. They were our business of the week for last week, first week of January 2020 here at the Chicago Radio <laughs> You can visit them at three, uh, 400 West 71st Street. It's right on 71st and Stewart. So mask off. Write it plain. You know how they say if you have a vision, so write it down. Write it down and make it plain. Hey, to all my Facebook friends and family, love y'all. Um, so, looking at the woman or the man in the mirror. That's our first step. So, when you see yourself in the mirror, when you're looking in the mirror, you get to see, you know, what is in order, what is not in order about yourself on a physical note. Uh, but you can also tell the... The state of your well-being through your eyes, through your face. A lot of times what you're feeling on the inside shows on the outside sooner or later. So when you're looking in this mirror and you're giving yourself your physical assessment, are you happy with what you see? Ask yourself that. Do you even recognize yourself? Sometimes when we get so used to carrying a certain type of energy, uh, it actually starts to change our feature song. And sometimes you can't even recognize yourself because you have changed just that much. It could be in a positive way or in a negative. But nevertheless, uh, your well-being, your state of being really reflects on the outside. Um, is it hard for you to look into your own eyes when you look into the mirror? Are you like off Beauty and the Beast when he had that big castle and all of the mirrors were uh, covered up because he couldn't stand to look himself in, in, in his own eyes? And if so, that's a major red flag. That's a major red flag. But it's good. Because once you are able to identify something, then you can start to find out what steps need to be taken in order for you to return to yourself, fix the situation, and so forth. So, and then when you're looking in the mirror and you don't see who you know yourself to be, ask yourself, what's going on? What is going on in my life? What has happened in my life that has caused me some sort of trauma? Uh, you know, what have I seen? What have I heard? What am I feeding my eyes? What am I feeding my ears? It's the energy around you or that was around you, however it may go, that has impacted your physical, your physical looks now. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is... You know, since we're on earth here and everything is kind of tangible, so, you know, we physical. We're tangible, you know, we physical. 
So, okay, you're looking at this outside and you're saying, this is some certain things that I might need to change about myself. We always talk about New Year's resolutions. And one of the most common resolutions is like weight loss. So you're looking in the mirror and you're saying, I need to, you know, slim up here or, you know, have that may go. So, okay. Um, now you figured that out. So we need you, we need to now be specific and be detailed and do your own research um, in, in pertaining to whatever need it is that you have that you want to improve about yourself. For example, if it is weight loss. Do your own due diligence and finding out how you can accomplish this goal. Get paper and pen or use your phone and write it out step by step. So, like we said, we're going to use weight loss as our example for today. Ask yourself, why do I feel like I need to lose weight? Is it because it's something that you feel like you want to do? Or is it because you were always told that you were fat? Or maybe the boys that you like didn't like you because, um, you know, they like the little model types and you had a little extra on you? What is your motivation for wanting to lose this weight? These are all questions that we must ask ourselves. Do you have the budget to make this happen? Losing weight requires changing your diet and eating healthier. And a lot of people, especially in urban neighborhoods, we don't even have the resources readily available for like a lot of healthy choices. And the healthier foods cost more. And a lot of people are on a budget and they have to get through the whole month so they can't necessarily afford to eat at Whole Foods for the, for the entire month. So you're going to have to see if you have a budget to meet your goal. And if you don't have a budget, what are some things that you can do to um, still make the situation happen, still make it happen? Uh, what outside resources can you tap into? Um, you, how creative can you get to still make it happen? Sometimes you have to just start off working with what you have, even if it's a little. So, um, <clears throat> when you're going through that and you going over how you feel about yourself and you're thinking about the things that people that you know and don't know have told you, for example, about your weight, it's, look at who it is that you're listening to. What is their motive for even telling you that you need to lose weight? Is this somebody that you should even be listening to? Are there triggers for the reason why you are eating like you are? That's going to be something else that you're going to have to tackle within this effort to lose weight. Because if you are having, if, if certain triggers when you get upset you need to eat, then, um, you know, that's going to be a reoccurring issue. And if there wasn't any outside influence, you know, would you still want to lose the weight? And how much weight would you like to lose? Is professional help required? Do you have a positive support network to help hold you accountable, encourage you, and congratulate you? Then I want you to look ahead. How do you imagine yourself to feel after you have reached your goal weight? How do you expect this to improve your quality of life, of those around you? We'll be right back. I'm going to let that marinate. So continue to stay tuned in to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio and Spotify Premium, sponsored by Shy Love LLC. And we'll be right back with the continuing step on how to create your own specified care plan for yourself for your well-being. And I will announce the business and mentor of the week. So stay tuned. Hugs. Hugs.
block, most niggas a foe. foe. I done did a block, block, most niggas in tow. When, when, winters they be hot, hot. summers they be cold. cold. Had a sauce it up a lot. Since niggas think I'm on, realest story ever told. told. Bricks on the stove, stove. got the mail bow. bow, very well. Hey, thanks for staying tuned in with the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. So we are talking about Mask Off. It's 2020. It's time to get it together, people. The first step from um, for creating an individualized care plan, and we're using weight loss since it's kind of a common resolution during the New Year's time, as an example. Um, Looking at the wall man in the mirror. Looking at yourself in the mirror. So we were talking about weight loss and the steps that you can take, the, the questions to ask yourself, um, find out you know, why it is that you would like to make this decision or have this goal. Um, so after you go through all of that, you look at all the possibilities, uh, make you a little pros and cons list. You need to make a sound decision about uh, which direction you're going in. A lot of times you make we make decisions and we're not looking at both sides. And the outcome sometimes is disappointing and then it causes more traumas. And here comes some more trouble, you know. So we need to make sure that we're starting to make like sound decisions with what it is that we are doing. And we must be willing to face the rewards or the consequences of said decision. Mm -hmm. So we need to ask ourselves, it's like when you commit the crime, am I willing to do this time? Mm -hmm. If you're not, maybe you should fast something else. If you are, you know, I ain't got nothing to do with that. But I'm just saying, make sure you are willing to go through, you know, stuff that you heard of might happen behind it and sometimes some surprising things that may come uh, as a consequence or reward for the decision that you have made. So once you are able to say, yes, this is what I want to do and um, I'm willing to go through the journey, good or bad. If you want to do something like lose weight, but and it sounds like the right thing to do, but you're not all the way in agreement within your own soul, regardless of what anybody else is saying, the agreement within your own soul. When you have those type of situations, uh, perhaps you should seek outside resources, um, professional help, if you're spiritual or religious, get going, get into that spiritual guidance, which actually, <laughs> Excuse me. Um, that spiritual guidance actually introduces you to your God self and uh, makes you closer to your God self because ye are gods and also my children. For those who like to read the Bible, it's in Psalms. Um, so in that saying that you know you have some power and some control over your life, and a lot of times that is in our decision making. So um, if you're saying no. You're not sound. You don't have a, a, a sound decision. You're not, you know, 100% on this. It's okay to pause. It's okay to... Tell them again. Deep, it's okay to pause. It's okay to deep, uh, dig in deeper and find out why. What is holding you back from this. And you have the right to change your mind. You know, it's as simple right. as that. And if it's not going to serve your higher purpose, we can't just like keep doing stuff just because. Because time has been moving and um, nothing is by coincidence and everything affects the others like a whole domino effect. So we need to start to focus on things that are going to serve our higher purpose, which in turn will actually help to improve the environment of the world. We can all play a part even if we just make sure that we, you know, get our own personal selves together. All that energy transfers. But if you go with, yes, I, am, I have made up my mind. I have looked at the pros and the cons. Um, I have done a risk management plan. And a risk management, risk management plan is something to where, okay, if 
the plan does not go according to the way that I said it and say this happens as a possible accident or surprise or whatever, um, how can I combat that so that I can still stay on track with my goal? So, for example, I used to look a uh, crime before. You're going to do a hit. Uh, you're expecting it for it to be successful. I don't know. The police happen to be around the corner. Do you have to build one? Is your lawyer in line? Are you ready? Risk management plan, you know, so you could be covered. So, okay, yes. Let's continue with the plan. So you congratulate yourself, first of all, for making the sound decision. For taking and utilizing the power that you were given over your life. For, to improve your well-being and your quality of life. And I want you to accept that the goal is a process. <clears throat> Nobody beats us up harder than we beat our own selves. We really don't need uh, any additional abuse from anybody else because we are the hardest on ourselves. Say that one more again. We are the hardest on ourselves and we have to understand. You said don't, you said don't nobody beat us up like we like beat ourselves. Like we beat ourselves okay. up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I know me personally, can't nobody whoop me like I whoop me. I'll tell you. You got, you got, in, <laughs> you got Instagram, uh, Sh Shino Radio. So you got your uh, Pop Radio Instagram sending you a lot of love. You got Mr. Uh, 773 Chicago, Carlos Garcia sending you love. Thank you. got Chateau Sh Jones sending you many 100s. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we love you guys back, man, here at yeah, Pop Radio indeed. Worldwide, putting on people radio, Shy Love Radio Show. Hugs, y'all. And if you see me in person, open your arms. So yes, yeah, so we're talking about moving forward in our lives, um, doing what we got to do, okay? Accepting that it is a process, not being too hard on ourselves, but at the same time, implementing discipline. It's the difference between discipline and abuse. Hmm. So, you know, keep that in mind and keep, keep an open mind and, you know, understand that for you to have gotten to the point that you are now, you are conditioned this way at this time. And this did not happen overnight. So you are aware that a change needs to be made. So be aware that a reconditioning of the mind must occur as well. And it is a process. It's continuous. But you have to discipline yourself. You have to choose. Choose. Choose ye this day where you at with it and what you going to do. Do little things to motivate yourself. But I want you to be patient with yourself and positive with yourself. Because we need love. We need self-love and we need to love each other more. But we definitely have to start to love ourselves, not in a vain way, but in a healthy way. Sometimes, you know, we're not compassionate with others because we're not compassionate with our own selves. So what we care about? <laughs> Somebody else. So we have to start to give this love to ourselves. So, okay. We got that. We're going to make necessary appointments. Hey, Dwayne Hollis, how we Compton, Willie Ford, Selma, Sean. <clears throat> We'll make the necessary appointments with the professionals, for example, your doctor, a psychologist, a life coach, a gym, and discuss your goal of, using the example, weight loss. Implement um, the, advice, the advice that you're getting from them in addition to doing your own research. Because ultimately, you're going to have to put a plan together that works for you specifically. Something that's going to keep you going. And everything don't work for everybody the same way. So, okay. If you have a positive support network, contact them and inform them of your goal. Understand this. Sometimes it will be the people that you would have never guessed would talk down at your goals but that's your sis but that's your bro but they tearing down tearing you down before you can even get out there and that's okay take note of that but you keep going why because this is your goal this is your life and you're the one who's going to have to deal with it 
So if you have no one at all, um, social media is a great place to find groups for like weight loss and almost anything that you want to get involved in. And some type of support group, sometimes a stranger could be your biggest supporter. And be your own support. Be your own cheerleader. Talk to yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself, I can do this. You're tired. Acknowledge that you're tired. But tell yourself, I'm tired and I'm a rest. But I'm going to get back up and I'm going to continue to do this. So while you're doing that, we're going to let that marinate. And I'll be right back with the Shy Love Radio Show on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. You can catch me on Facebook at Melanie, uh, the, uh, Melanie Hogan or Melanie Hogan 7 on Instagram and LinkedIn and so forth. But I'll be right back. She my girl, she my rider. She that's a pole for survival. She's my pimp and I'm a Michael. Let it go like a rifle. Ride it like a psycho. Play it like a vinyl, praise me like an idol, never ever stifle, always, always vital. She knows just that I'm psycho, very homicidal, baby so sexy, you know she's my ride. Hey. She be on her back. I- hey love, welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio and Spotify Premium. We're talking about looking at the man, looking at the woman in the mirror. We're talking about improving our quality of life. We're using weight loss as an example since it is a common New Year resolution. And I'm telling y'all how to go uh, step by step to put a plan together because a lot of times we kind of know what we want to do, but we have no idea on where to begin. So this is like a simpler, simplified form um, of a care plan that you could put together we can maybe get together on a workshop or something and you know uh, or some one-on-one and do a specified which is very much more detailed but right now I just want to give you something to start off with if you have nothing at all so okay we're talking about losing weight we have made the sound decision we have made the necessary appointments we've contacted our positive support network we're motivating ourselves we said we will all right so we writing everything down. It's good to keep a log of your journey or even a, a video uh, blog for yourself just to see how far you've come once you reach a goal. And then you never know how your journey can inspire and help somebody else. Because everybody has, you know, a particular story. And yours may seem unique because you don't really know too many people around you who's going through it, but you don't know who's coming behind you. Who gonna need to know how you moved mm. to get to where you at? That's hard. So, while we're writing stuff down, I want us to start to have little mini celebrations. Little mini celebrations. Even if you write in your seat a little bit and you put on a little music and just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell yourself, I'm proud of you. We work, 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 work. Almost to the grave, baby. Not that balance of congratulating ourselves. We'll tell ourselves they are so fast. But how often are we saying, you know what? I'm proud of you. You know what? I gave my all today. I'm going to learn from the mistakes that I've made and I'm going to continue to do better. That, that's important. That self-talk is important. But I'm going to tell you this. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. If you know you need some improvements in certain things, you know, keep it more honey. So, now we are checking off the information. We had a little mini celebration and so forth. Don't celebrate too hard because you still have work to do. So now you have to read your step. Hey, Queen Deborah. Now we ha- now you have to rid your fridge and your cabinets of all the junk and unhealthy food. You cannot say that you want to lose however many pounds that you want to lose and you have your temptations sitting right in your face. You're going to have to rid yourself of that. You're going to have to break your bond with what is unhealthy in your life. And you're going to have to replace it with the healthy stuff. 
and you can do it step by step. You know, cold turkey sometimes is, you know, too much for a person. Sometimes they got <laughs> one bite at a time. It's okay. So, you know, subtract this part. You still got that other stuff. Subtract this one. Add this part in. You know, acknowledge that. Like, okay, okay. And you just keep growing and building up to it. You're not on anybody. You give yourself the deadline. You're not on anybody else's timeline for improving yourself. So sometimes it might take, you know, no time at all. And sometimes it might really take a minute. But it's okay. As long as you keep applying the knowledge, something has to change. So, okay. You're replacing the foods with healthier choices. And a lot of times people do that. And inside their homes, they have all the healthy foods. But then they get to work. And they get, hey, Natalie. They get to work. They go out with their friends. And... You have all this delicious smelling, you know, oh my God, it'd it be good. You know, they know what they're doing when they want you to come out and spend your money. But you know what your goal is. And you know what plans you have set for yourself. So get like some on-the-go snacks. Get creative and start to put some things together and keep it like in a container or something so that um, when you're out and those cravings do arise, you have your healthier foods to replace. So that you're not feeling uh, guilty later on or upset at yourself because you were out, um, you know, an excuse to be out so hungry I had to eat something. But if you prepare for it, you know, that'll make your day go a little smoother. Your girl right here, uh, Andrea Slovic, says the things you speak about from Instagram, okay, uh, one of the uh, pop radio uh, we love everybody number one that's rocking with the pop instagram youtube all that it's all love they say they say the things you speak about are so inspiring and facts okay oh, yeah. thank you want to say something to andrea back thank you pretty girl see that's something a pretty girl say i, I haven't even you know seen your picture. i did a photo shoot on andrea hold on there you go say it again i did a uh, photo shoot on andrea the other day but she okay. is a pretty girl so. okay all but right, did you I'm hear what okay. she said say it again I said, thank you, pretty girl. I said, that's something that a pretty girl would say, and I haven't even seen your picture. <laughs> okay. It's all love. So, okay, so, um, you know, like I said, give, your, give yourself deadlines. Build up a consistency. Start to discipline yourself. A lot of times, we lack self-discipline. Even on them little memes, I be seeing uh, girls talking about, uh, she need her man to be able to keep her in check. Like, you can't keep yourself in check. Are you not to govern yourself? And then, you know, y'all have this type of idea out here. And when men feeling like they got to keep every female in check, they going to come run across a female that's going to say, I, I, we going to talk and communicate on a respectful level because I have an internal locus of control and I check myself, you understand? So we all start to govern ourselves, you know, with some little discipline. We can, we can get it together. We can have a battle of the sexes show one day. We're going to have a dope show with that. Yes, we will. Yeah, but you know what? We're going to get to understand it. Yeah, we, we definitely is. But I'm sure it'll be dope, dope and deep. Yes, you know what I'm yes. saying? <laughs> Bat, well, no, let me announce that. Me and Jay, I'm coming soon, you hear me? Prince of Pain and the Queen right here. We're going to we gonna talk about a battle of the sex yes, show. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, okay, I was talking about earlier about triggers and stuff, right? So, food is used a lot of times as a comfort food. So, if it is a comfort food, you have to recognize your stress triggers. What is it that is making you, you know, turn to this food? What is happening in your life that you need to turn to the food in an excessive way? that you turn into it. And in that case, you need to um, point this out and address it. Because like I said, if you don't address it, it's no point in doing the dieting. Because the stresses and stuff are still there. You're going to keep relapsing. And in that case, you might have to seek outside help. Uh, with a, you know the professionals. Or you can always come to the Shy Love Radio Show and we can learn how to go on here and put this together. You know, all in love. And again, we're going to let that marinate. It's 
I know we've been doing a whole lot of talking. Give them the, uh, you got the numbers for the uh, self-help numbers? Yeah, uh, I got that. Why don't you give it to them real quick before we go to break? We still got, you are eight minutes. We still got two minutes. So we're going to give you all. I'm sorry, we got nine. We got one minute. Yeah, you could give them the little okay. numbers. So um, some shout outs to everybody. Again, the suicide prevention number, one 628 Nine four five four. Your life matters. I don't care who's telling you that it's not. It does. We all have a purpose here. Hell yeah. Um, as far as um, uh, therapy for black girls, because mm. you know it's taboo. So we have a uh, Shamir L. Harrington. She's a pretty girl. She's a black girl. You can contact her on LinkedIn or Facebook. She's a licensed social worker. Uh, a nutritionalist. With nutritional counseling, since we're talking about weight loss, 1312-834-4406. And since we're talking about weight loss and you might need, um, you know, extra clothing or whatever as you're going through it, the Shy Love Pantry at shylovechicago at gmail.com. Um, in a gym, Planet Fitness at www.planetfitness.com. So in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna let all that just uh, sit on down. Hey, Cordell Hunter, uh, let it all just live make just a little bit longer. Thank you all for accompanying me today at the Shine Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, Spotify. I'll be right back. Hey, Cordell, hey, everybody. So I'm just saying. Creator, tell him take me to the top floor, but stuck on this elevator. All the days of my life, plus a wake up, plus a wake up. I can't breathe like I'm in the gas chamber. Your closest neighbor, they do your danger. Run your name through the mud like a wrangler, cause they can't hit your angle. Parking lot spot, spot. quick to hit the safety. That's why I roll it. Hey, welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, Spotify, Google Play Premium. It's 2020 and we're talking about taking the mask off. We're going to go step by step through the points that were pointed out last week. Check that segment out as well. And we're using weight loss as the example because that's one of the most common New Year's resolutions. But I'm teaching you how to put together a care plan for yourself. A lot of times we have the wants, we have the desire to want to do something, but we have no idea as far as like, you know, what are, what is even the first step to take? Okay, so we were talking about comfort foods and if you are eating excessively due to stress. Due, yeah, due to stress. And if so, um, hey, hey, Kinesia and Bowen. If so, you need to um, have that address. We need to get to the bottom of it because it's going against your goal, which is to lose weight. But if you have the stresses around, even though you could be doing the other steps, if those triggers are still around, you're going to regress. You're going to continue to relapse. That type of stuff adds to uh, anxiety and depression. You know, it's like a hamster just running on a wheel. You ain't, you ain't going nowhere. So... You're working on your inside and your outside at the same time, which is good. Um, and you know, certain things may require that you seek help outside of yourself. I know especially um, we in the urban community, the black community, uh, the young guys community as I like to call it. We are told not to uh, get therapy, you're crazy, um, Jesus. Uh, or whatever, you know, you we get ridiculed for that type of stuff. But this is your life, and it is up to you to save your life. Because I tell you this, once you run over that cliff, them same people who was clowning you for the idea of going to therapy, they gonna be like, man, foe, you should have went to therapy. The same ones who was clowning you for the idea of going. 
So you make up your mind. You know what you need in your little life. And you surround yourself with people who go on to support you and who do have your best interests in mind. So, okay. Um, we are, and, and that part is very important, you know. So, while we're doing this and we're keeping track, hey Adonis, hey John Trey, we're keeping track of our steps. Another good idea is to set alarms in your phone. Because you get so wrapped up and you do have to recondition yourself to these habits. So you can make little short alarms in your phone throughout the day to uh, make sure you're on track with yourself. Um, you know, also keep track of your progress, preferably in print or video. Like I say, uh, you can refer back to this as a reminder to yourself of the progress that you made. Because sometimes you have stuck moments. You move in and you get in that motion and then you stuck. You can have little stuck moments and you feel like, you know, you want to move forward and you forget about the steps that you have taken to get to that point. So sometimes you can refer back to your journal, refer back to your, your, your blog and, you know, use that as inspiration for yourself to imagine yourself that you have taken steps and that this, this too shall pass, whatever it is. Um, and also, like I said, you can use uh, your journey to help someone else. It's always good if, you know, I never understood people be like, um, did nobody help me? I ain't going to help nobody. Well, how did that make you feel when nobody helped you? Look like you're still bitter about it. So you're going to continue to pass that type of energy on because somebody did it to you? That is like, mm -mm. no, that's counterproductive. We, we got to heal. Hurt people don't have to hurt people. My misery don't like company. So we got to get out of that mindset that we have to spread this because we just so, you know, and it's, bottled, and, it's, and it's bottled up and it's pouring out of you and you don't even realize it a lot of times. You just like you realize it, but you don't realize it, you know. But we're going to go ahead and get better and do better. So we keep in uh, progress. <clears throat> keep your positive support network updated. Let them know what is going on with you honestly. Um, these should be people that you don't have to front for. You should be able to say, you know, I'm, I'm, I did good today. I was on point with everything. You should be able to say, I miss my cheeseburgers. Um, I'm struggling with this, you know, and not get ridiculed. Uh, just be, get, <laughs> you know, you have to just, hey, Oliver. Um, so you have to just, you know, be able to be yourself around these people. And these people should be able to accept you. For who you are. You don't always have to mirror each other. You know in order to be friends. But you can respect each other. And uh, just be there. Even if you don't understand exactly what they're going through. And you know. Try to keep them on a good foot. And you know. If that has never been an issue of yours. You can still be empathetic. Because you see how this is impacting. The person that you say that you love. Or you mess with like that. That's your friend. So, you know, we all, you know better, you know better, you do better. Sooner or later, it sinks in, hopefully. Um, a motivational tip for losing weight. Buy yourself something in the size of the weight of your goal. Like, I don't know, I don't know you want to go to size 12 or 7, I don't know, whatever. Buy something in that particular size. Take a picture of it, keep it in your phone, keep it in your room somewhere to where you can see it and, you know, help keep yourself motivated and talk to that. I feel like, girl, I'm going to wear you and we're going to look good together. Keep it going. Find little creative ways to motivate yourself, to reward yourself as you're taking these steps. Keep up with your deadlines. Even if you have not completed the goal by that time, 
still check in at that time and evaluate and assess the situation and see what uh, can stay and what things need to be changed. Because as I said, you're discovering what works best for you. And in that, sometimes you have to add things on and take things out. And that's okay. Hmm. So ask yourself, you know, what is needed to get there? Just make the necessary changes and continue to apply the knowledge. Hey, Michi. Hey, Martin. Uh, if you have a plan of maintenance, especially with weight loss, a lot of times you have that plan to lose the weight, but you didn't think about like how you're going to continue to keep the weight off once you've lost it. So have a plan of maintenance after the fact. Once I reach my goal, how am I going to maintain myself at this weight? And again, utilize the resources that you have, your support, net, uh, support groups and everybody to help to keep you on track. Decide for yourself that you want to keep yourself on track. Anything can happen with these people, you know? And everybody has their own things going on in one form or, or another. So you don't want to put that type of responsibility off on somebody else for your goal. So, okay. We are here with this. You got your plan of maintenance. Uh, this ideally, hey Jennifer, this ideally should become a part of your lifestyle. If it's not really becoming your diet, your new diet and everything, it's not becoming a part of your lifestyle, this new way of thinking about yourself is not becoming a part of your lifestyle, uh, the chances of you relapsing and regressing are quite high. You must recondition yourself to become, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to become. To where it's natural. You can have, and that's that's when you're going to know, like, when you really start to pass your test, when, um, what type of donuts do I like? I love, ooh, bohemian cream donuts. <laughs> those are my favorite. <laughs> hey, Geronimo. Um, yeah, those are my favorites. So, if I was trying to lose weight and I have um, reconditioned myself and I'm doing good and then all of a sudden I'm at... Uh, my sister's house or something and she has my favorite donuts that's a test for me now because I could be like well I did slim down and technically I got room for you know just one donut but how many times is it really just one donut so you know you have to decide and that's like a little test for you right there and it's okay if you like indulge sometimes too but you have to have that self control and you and I really feel like you should make your new lifestyle you know make sure that's consistent first before you start to really like reindulging and stuff or have a little treat as we like to call it so okay <laughs> yeah you know have a little cheat day <laughs> So, okay, after you have completed your goal and you like, yay, everybody like, I'm proud of you, girl, you're looking good. Go back and reread your result expectancy. How did you expect to feel once you accomplished this goal? What was going to be the effect um, on your life long term and short term once you reached this goal? What changes were you expecting to see? Reread that and then see if it's lining up. Okay? So, um, y'all know y'all can do anything. I believe in you. Things take, take time. You know, we have to learn some things. We got to relearn some stuff. But it's definitely possible. We got the power. proud of you for even making a go okay so we're going to I want you all to meet me here next Monday at the Shy Love Radio Show on Pop Radio Worldwide
Prince of Pain putting people on on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium. And we're going to continue to walk this out together. Together, unity. It's all love and shy love. See you all next week. Hugs, love. Remember to check me out on Facebook, Melanie Hogan, shylovechicago at gmail.com, uh, YouTube, Spotify Premium, Pop Radio Worldwide. Check it all out. It's all linked in. Love y'all. Hey love, thank you for tuning in to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, Prince of Pain putting people on, I Hire Radio and Spotify Premium, Mask Off is 2020, and we were talking about looking at the men, looking at the woman in the mirror, and creating our own personalized care plan so that we can improve our own quality of life. So you can check me out Mondays from 7 to 8, Melanie Hogan on Facebook, Chicago at gmail.com we're, going, we're doing businesses of the week and mentors of the week so if you have any recommendations hit me up in my gmail or on facebook or instagram under Melanie Hogan 7 M-E-L-A-N-I-E H-O-G-A-N number 7 I want you all to be safe it's all love and shy love and I'll see you all next week Yeah. <laughs>